particularly when we come to forests, uh, the meaning of climate change is, is very crucial. New pests, new diseases mostly from the south and we realize that it's not in random, it's uh, driven by warming. We lose recently in central uh, and north Poland about uh, 9 million cubic meters. It's a big disaster. It's never happened before. There was falling a lot of trees, then sometimes we don't have so much seedlings we need. If you see, for example, animals, they can move, they can spread and in that way escape climate change. Plants have a problem, they can't move, at least not as fast. Climate change already takes its toll. For example, Hungary, is, we have already experienced heavy losses, mass mortalities in our forests, so it's getting the urgent. It gives task for us to solve, but it's not the end of the story. last hundred years the global temperature increased about one grad Celsius and with this change we are facing two huge extreme events. So the worst scenarios are talking about the even increase about six grad Celsius which probably no one from us can imagine what could happen when the worst scenario will be fulfilled. There's not only a big problem with drought, but at the same time there's a lack of reproduction material. So the seed sources are lacking and the people who are responsible are basically not able to obtain a good quality reproduction material. So this is a big a source of concern. The gene diversity will be the most important part of the story, so to say, if we want to somehow mitigate the uh, impacts of a climate change. Other ways how we could maybe slow down or mitigate the climate change could be the assisted migration, but it's definitely still a big question. Assisted migration means that you help the trees to expand the range towards north, for example, to support more or less the natural course or development of expanding the species range along the gradient of climate change. There are different needs of importing material. I talked with different people from nurseries. Some are really anxious to get external material to improve their the availability of foreign provenances. Others are really strict and think, no, we have these rules. These rules have worked forever. Why, why should we change them? Why should we import new things that we don't know? If we can overcome these boundaries and exchange material between the countries, that would improve the situation. The full title of the project is Sustainable Utilization uh, of Forest Genetic Resources in Climate Change. Besides addressing the policy issues and legislation, we also want to make the forest practitioners, the forest managers, the forest owners aware of the problem and tell them how the right forest reproductive material, the right seeds and seedlings can help them with adapting the forest to climate change. And at the end of the project, we're developing a smartphone application. Wow. 
Well, as the environmental conditions change rapidly, we could still plant maladapted trees. That is not an issue. The problem is that they will become maladapted for uh, the times to come and uh, this will create a huge problem. Every country has to produce own rules, but it's now really the time, uh, if you think about climate change, which is really a continental or a global problem, to collaborate and harmonize the rules to make sea transfer and assisted migration possible. For this we need the scientific information. This is our task, but the task also for the politics is also to harmonize the rules for sea transfer. In the long term, there is a change of legislation necessary. So it will certainly not be possible to go on with the present legislation for the next hundred years. So our project idea is to make policymakers aware of the problem and to provide possible solutions and then to discuss with them what could be the next step and how this solution could be used.